This is called I'm I'm in it. Oh, it matches my background and my soul. Look at that. Oh, I'm so great. <laughs> Fox fam, welcome back to my channel and we are here for another video. I'm pretty proud of myself because I have filmed quite a few videos in the past few weeks and it feels really good. I'm actually getting super organized in here. What I'm looking at right now doesn't look so hot, but I organized my glitter, which is the most important thing. So I also got a rug underneath me, so hopefully the echo is not quite as bad this time. Mm. I just ordered a bunch of um, ice cream to Nick's uh, fire station. <laughs> Nick is my boyfriend, if you are new here. He's a fireman and I just had a bunch of ice cream ordered over there. He's been doing so good with his workouts lately. I thought everybody there deserved a little treat. So DoorDash was just like, oh, we just delivered your order. I just texted him, I'm like, I don't know if you're at the station right now, but I had something delivered for you guys. <laughs> so we're gonna test out the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. I have it right here. I got in a PR package. This is what we're working with. It is so pretty. I just love the warmth of this palette. Um, I tried to make my light in the background match the look we're gonna do today. Um, so I'm saying that this we're, we're giving this another chance because I filmed an Instagram video that I'm, I either did already put up by the time you're watching this or I am putting it up still, but I had some issues with the colors. I was doing kind of the reds and stuff, and it was doing what the Anastasia of Beverly Hills palette did. I, which one? I don't even remember which palette that was. I haven't used their products in so long, but I had just put concealer on and no powder because I wanted the color to be very vibrant and to stick, and it started doing these like darker and lighter spots and wasn't sticking to parts of it, and that's the same exact thing that other palette did to me. So I don't know if it's because I didn't put powder on. I Today we're gonna put powder on and see. The palette, also those reds, did stain the absolute shit out of my eyelids. I had, it looked like I had pink eye um, for two days straight, so that's not a plus. I'm gonna try and pack on the concealer today to try and avoid as much of that as possible. Let's hope I don't have any blending issues with this palette this time. I have a feeling it was probably my fault um, for not powdering the concealer. Some eyeshadows work without powdering the concealer and some just don't like it. So there's 35 vivid shades. Um, the palette is 39 doll hairs. It will not be 39 doll hairs if you use my discount code. If you buy anything at Morphe online or in the stores, you can use my code Kristen. It's just my first name. Don't spell it with an I-N because it's an E-N. Thank you so much. I will get it right. I, I'm not gonna swatch all these because I literally just put a fake tan on and I don't wanna mess it up because that took me like 17 hours, my pale ass. This was a little too dark for me the other day, but it's fine now. <laughs> I just got my eyelash extensions redone too, so this might be a little bit of a pain in the butt. I'm, I've been getting used to, okay, I'm gonna pack this on because I just don't want stained eyelids again. I also have a lot of veins in my eyelids and they kind of, this one especially that's over here, throws me off. Like it always makes my eyeshadow look uneven. A long time ago, way, 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 way back in the 1800s, I used to model for um, mud makeup. And when I say model, it was just for their, um, it was for their, they did like a mud makeup academy. It's in Burbank, or it was. Uh, and I, the students would do their makeup on me and then we'd like photograph it and stuff. Where was I going with this? I literally have no idea. I'm like losing my mind. Oh, I know where I was going with that. The vein on my eye. Wow. Um, I, uh, so I had this, this, oh, we lost one soldier. Goodbye. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, my love. We, the, the instructor always thought my eyeshadow was uneven because of this vein. And so I would always say, it's not uneven. It's just the vein on my eye. Like, trust me. It throws me off too. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty Pound Cake uh, Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder to set my eyelids. You know, one thing that isn't organized up in this bitch is all my brushes. I think I actually got rid of um, all of my brush organizing stuff because they were glass and I probably didn't want to travel with all that because 
moving to Tennessee was a serious undertaking. <laughs> My ass had like a motorhome full of animals, like a psychopath. Oh, Nick is FaceTiming me now. Okay, let's do this. Hey. What do you mean you had something delivered to the station? What? What do you mean you had something delivered to the station? Uh, just a little treat for you guys. Charlie, trying to get my pants? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely trying to get in your pants. It's literally going to be my lifelong goal for the rest of my life is get some from you. All right. Say hi to everybody. You're on camera. We're filming. We're live. No, we're not live, but I am filming right now. Say hi. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, here. Actually, this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's what I was about to go for never. It's going to be cool shit at work. <laughs> You didn't even notice that my hair is like basically all blonde now. <laughs> yeah, well, it's actually going to say something about that a second ago, but I've been... You've been thinking about how amazing I am? Is that what you were going to say? This is called I'm, I'm In It. Oh, it matches my background and my soul. Look at that. Oh, I'm so pretty. What do we think about... I think I'm gonna do some yellow up here and then fade the side out into pink and then do purple on the lid. So maybe I'm gonna start actually with Lolly Llama right here. I'm like tapping off on my new white rug. This is just wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in the crease area for starters and work it out, like bl start blending it out further once the majority of the product is off my brush. Just trying to think like, what do I have to do tomorrow? Like I'm, I'm straight up gonna have like, so I don't I hope I don't have any stains. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with Tipsy Girl right here, which is this really, really, really bright pink. And I'm gonna go in with that same small tapered blending brush. This one has quite a bit of kickback. It's like super bright and pigmented. Um, and I'm gonna place this right in the crease. That really punched that up a notch. I like it. Then, this is the little mother effer that stained my eyelid. Um, I'm gonna go in with, eh, where are we? Oh, right there. Oh, dance party right here. It's like a, it's like a deep fuchsia. Gosh, living my bestie is so pretty. It's like this gorgeous, like sparkly brick red orange. Oh, so nice. Okay, so just to add a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna add this right in the crease as well. Oh, this is like falling over all over. Could this blending going, uh, blending out be going a little bit better? Yeah, probably, but could it be going a lot worse? Abs. I'm gonna go in with No Joke, which is the yellow from the palette. Oh, hello. Um, and I'm gonna put that kind of in this area here. Then with what's left over on the brush, I'm gonna lightly blend that into the pink. Okay, so the yellow gets a little less pigmented as you blend it out, which is completely normal. So once you create a good blend, you want to kind of pack that back on over once your edge is softened up. Isn't it annoying how you can always see like eyebrow hair that needs to go like after you've put on your eyeshadow, it like comes out from hiding. Now, I am going to go in with Not My Journey right here. And this is gonna go all over the eyelid area. And I'm not gonna put a base down. I see that we have some eyeshadow on there. Let's just see how this does kind of all on its own. Wow, it's pigmented. It's not, doesn't have quite as much kickback as like the pinks, but it is packed full of color. I'm actually afraid this is gonna get all over my lashes. Oh, okay. I need a, I need a close up mirror. I need some support. Help me. Okay, I decided to do this only on this portion of the eye and then I'm gonna take the shade um, therapy sash right above it. It's a bit of a more lighter purple and use that in there. Okay, 
this is going on really nice, really beautifully. I love purple. You know what I really wish that this palette had, and this is not my palette, so she obviously created exactly what she wanted and it's really pretty, I love the color range. If it were me, I would have added a, um, a lime green in here. That would be sick. Purple's disappearing a tiny bit on me when I'm trying to blend that out. It's just a lot of powder and it's not really sticking to it. That's, that's as good as that's gonna get, I think. Okay, that's way too big of a brush. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna take Therapy Session, which is this bright um, pinky purple right here. And we're gonna do that on the inner area. That's pretty. Can we talk about how awesome Jacqueline's promo pictures are for this palette? I mean, honestly. Sorry, you guys are gonna hear Leo barking in the back. He's got little man syndrome. For bath today, I'm gonna be using, I don't know if that's gonna work for my color right now. Just put on this fake tanner so, like, oh no. Oh no. Foundation bin, and <laughs> she what's gonna work. Hello. Dude, do you guys talk to yourself this much? Like, I I just... This is 25N, by the way, um, Derma Blend Flawless Creator. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes, by the way. This is Luxie 610 Flat Sculpting. This is not what you're supposed to be using it for, but I don't really care, so... Where the shit is all my cream contour? Okay, what I, what I really need... <laughs> is my shapeshifter Urban Decay. Okay, hold please, hold please. Oh well, I left it in California, so we are screwed. I'm gonna use something else. Even though I don't fucking want to. This is the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick. The reason why I didn't want to use this is because sometimes it's a little more of a task than I wanna deal with to blend out this line as opposed to being able to pick it up on a diffused brush and like just putting it straight on like that, you know? But hopefully my skin, the warmth from my skin will melt this a little bit and it'll be easy. Or it's gonna take off my foundation and we'll be here for even longer, okay? I'm gonna take the same brush that I put my foundation on with. No, I'm not, it's a lie. I'm gonna take the Henry, uh, Hank and Henry Tasha brush and I'm gonna Start down here. I'm so hungry. I'm about to eat some makeup. Oh my gosh, speaking of eating makeup, I've been watching My Strange Addiction. I have a strange addiction to My Strange Addiction. Um, that show, oh my gosh, I need to shave my armpits. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's cold here in Nashville and my armpits have not seen the light of day. <laughs> um, I love that show so much. Oh, it's so interesting. So great. The stuff people eat, I cannot deal with it. Like what? How does brick taste good? I don't, I don't understand. What you can do if this gets a little crazy, even though this isn't a contouring tutorial, take your foundation brush and kind of go over the edges a little bit like that. I'm gonna be using uh, Nikki Tutorial's Glow Goals Highlighter by Ofra. I also have an Ofra discount code. Should you wanna ever buy Ofra, Ofra's highlighter is literally the best highlighter on the face of the planet other than the Urban Decay Crystal Land highlighter because love it, love both of them. I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics number four brush, tap off the excess and just... I'm gonna use this guy, I think. This is the um, Mint Mint For You Statement Blush by Dose Of Colors. Oh, that's pretty. Kind of like a neutral pink. And it, I feel like it's kind of light enough where it kind of adapt to like whatever, you know, skin tone you have, whatever look you have going on. I think it would work for kind of everything. Brows are done, I use the Neutral Nana Brow Blade um, product by Urban Decay, and then I um, did a little bit of uh, brow gel with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in dark brown. And I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay's 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencil in Walk of Shame. This is, you can use any white or nude colored eyeliner for this is if, if you wanna follow this part. Um, it doesn't have to be a high-end expensive one. They're all basically the same. 
I'm gonna take this Morphe M507 brush and I'm gonna go into I'm In It, which is that really pretty iridescent shade that I'm gonna put right in there. I think I'm gonna leave the lower lash line as it is and just put some mascara on. I'm gonna spray this with the Morphe Prep and Set just to get a little more payoff from the shade and some more pearlescent vibes from it. And I'm just gonna place that. Ow, this brush is poking the shit out of my eye and making my eye water. So I keep using it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so pretty. All right, here we are. Here's the final look. I just did a little hair tutorial on this super easy, pretty quick hairstyle. So if you want to see that, it'll be on my Instagram. If it isn't up already, it'll be up there soon. For lips, um, I was trying to take this back to the light, like 2005 when I wore really light lipstick because I just like that look. This is the Tarte um, Glossy Lip Paint. I wish they would come out with more new shades of this. I absolutely love this stuff. It's like a cross between like lipstick, like a cream lipstick and like a gloss. I love it. And then to line my lips, I use the Essence Lip Liner in In The Nude. I think I got this at like a dollar store. I don't really know, but it's a great shade. So. Final thoughts on the palette so far. So far, I am liking this palette today a lot more than I did the other day. I am gonna have to see if this stains my eyelids because I have a feeling it's going to a little bit. Um, but it was really fun to play with color again. I'm obsessed with this shade in here. What was that called? I'm, I'm in it. Is that it's kind of a weird name? I'm in it. Okay, it doesn't roll off the tongue. But uh, that shade is beautiful. I really like the shades that Jaclyn put into this palette. I think it's super fun, super colorful. And I mean, had a little bit of blending issues and staying power issues with it a little bit in the crease and whatnot. And obviously got a little patchy on my concealer when I first used it for the Instagram video. But I mean, overall, I think that it performed really well. And again, these are like bright shades. Like these are really hard to make as mattes. Like it's very easy to make them as a pearl shade, not very easy, but it's easier to make them as like a pearl or like a metallic. Um, they're just a lot silkier, but they tend to end up like chalky and patchy when you do bright colors like this. I don't know why, that's kind of just the nature of the beast. So with that being said, you have to kind of take that into consideration when you're using bright shades like this. So overall, I think they performed pretty dang well. I'm pretty stoked to try some different, um, more neutral or kind of fall looks with this palette. That's one thing that I love about Jaclyn's palettes. Every time she creates one with Morphe, um, it's got so many options in it that my brain just goes crazy in a good way. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this. And then I have a hard time like choosing. So traveling with this palette is great because I mean, it is kind of large, but it's lightweight and you have so many options in one palette. So if you're gonna like go traveling, I pretty much always will grab like a giant Morphe palette because there's just endless amounts of looks inside and they're very lightweight. So um, I'm actually going to San Diego on the 23rd. You, by the time you see this, it might already be passed, but um, I'm, I'm gonna be taking this palette with me. I really wanna try out some of the more neutral shades in there and just like, just play with it. Like I love this palette, it's really pretty. So I think that this is a really great purchase. Um, one shade that I do think it's missing is possibly a blue. I realize that it's kind of more of like a warm tone palette, so that's probably why. Um, but I really feel like a lime green like kind of similar to this guy here, maybe like it's a two-tone iridescent. I feel like that would have been really nice in this palette, but overall, I think the palette is beautiful. I really like playing with the color in it, and I guess time will tell. I'll have to try out more shades to really give it like a full review, but based on um, my first time using it today, gets my stamp of approval. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this palette. Do you own any of the other Jaclyn Hill palettes? What do you think? Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts on her makeup line. I um, unfortunately didn't get um, the new makeup line and I was actually gonna buy it, but I just, I need to organize this room. So I'm not trying to bring more makeup in here right now than I need to, but um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Should I grab it? Let me know. Um, we will see you in the next video. Thanks guys.